Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to integrate Airtable with Microsoft Teams. This integration can help you keep your data organized and easily accessible in one place and streamline your workflow with your team. So let's start. First, you'll need to have an Airtable account and a Microsoft Teams account. Once you have those set up, go to your Airtable base and click on your profile icon at the top right corner of the page. In this menu, click on Integrations and then connect new account. Here, you can see several applications that you can integrate with Airtable. Look for Microsoft Teams and click on it. Here, sign into your Microsoft Teams account and follow the prompts to do so. After that, your Airtable account will now be integrated to your Microsoft Teams account. Another way of doing this integration is by using Zapier. Go to zapier.com and log into your account. If you don't have an account yet, you can create one for free. Once you log in, click on this Create Zap button at top left corner of the screen. Here, first change the name of the Zap. I'll name it Airtable with Microsoft Teams. Next, search for Airtable as your trigger app and select the trigger that you want to use. For example, you can choose New Record. This means that every time a new record is added to the table, it will trigger the integration. After that, click on continue. Here, connect your Airtable account and select the base and table that you want to use. Then click on continue. After that, touch your trigger to confirm that the right account is connected and that your trigger is set up correctly. Once the record was found, click continue to proceed. Now let's move on to Microsoft Teams. Search for Microsoft Teams and select the action that you want to use. For example, you can choose Send Chat Message. This means that every time a new record is created in Airtable, Zapier will automatically send a new message to an existing chat in Microsoft Teams. After that, click on Continue. Here, you'll need to connect your Microsoft Teams account to Zapier as well. Once you have connected your Microsoft Teams account, Zapier will ask you to set up the action. Simply click on the fields and select the appropriate data for Airtable. Once done, test the Zap to make sure it is working properly. If it is, you can now publish the Zap and turn it on. Then start automating your workflow. So that's it. If you wanted to know how to integrate Airtable with Microsoft Teams, that is the easiest way I know how. I hope you find this video helpful and if you do, kindly give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much and see you on the next video.